Before the video begins, we have another login event. Let me just collect all my capsule coins and then I will get to that page and show you. Okay. So it's just an average login event for five days and then I'm sure we'll have something after. All right. Welcome back. So basically this video is going to be what I do in a day on Dragon Ball Strangers Warrior. Towards getting my progress up and also just completing daily missions. So we can get the capsule coins for completing all of them. At the moment I am just doing um, some training for Red Star. Okay, so first thing to do is start doing this board here because you want to get this done so that way the time is ticking down while you're doing all your other missions so you're not wasting your time. The second thing I do is head over to PvP, collect my free stuff for the day and then do a couple of matches. Gotenks is surprisingly not as strong as it used to be, it used to be a lot of trouble no matter what element you were. Now you can just take me down half health, I'll pop a sensu beam and uh, start wailing on him and then we don't seem to have too much of a problem even though there is like I think 600,000 um, power level difference so quite stronger than this but doesn't seem to be that much of an issue anymore. However, they really, really need to know Kid Boo. His health regen is just insane in PvP. It's crazy. Here, let me show you an example here. So here we got Kid Boo. I got uh, Piccolo. Now Piccolo isn't a red, but he can do a significant amount of damage to Kid Boo. I think it's mostly the uh, burning effect and Obviously you want to be able to move pretty quickly away from him when he starts charging up like that because he's just going to like pretty much one shot your character. This one I think is 1,800,000 combat and I'm only uh, 1,100,000 and something there so pretty big difference. And uh, he, this is just a tank at the moment and he's going to get all this health back I guarantee you, before this fight's over. Probably two or three times. I'm going to switch to uh, red in a second so we can finish him off, but I think he's about to regen all that health. <laughs> like I'm working quickly, he's almost down and then bam, he's nearly full health again. He's got like 1% missing. The only way that you can possibly beat him is just by just going nuts with attacks. Uh, Gotenks seems to have less trouble defeating him. So I might end up training him up for PvP, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's really hard to beat. And it's not just the one uh, health regen, he's got like two health regens, and as you see this there, he popped up and made me um, completely waste my special and then absorb some of my energy from my other specials. Kind of crazy, really overpowered. Come to think of it, I also have Kid Boo that I should probably level up for PvP purposes. Then we'll have um, Super Saiyan for Goku, Gotenks, and Kid Boo for PvP. Oh man, this is taking forever. I've almost got my special back, he just wasted his kid's chance to make me miss it. So, let's charge up. Oh, he's regening again. Uh, he regen less this time. I do have sensu beans and then health capsules, which is pretty handy. I might start making them actually, because I already do the farming aspect and uh, which we call it the fishing, which is the ingredients you need to make them health capsules. But I don't know. I haven't really leveled up the chemistry side of this game yet. I might have to though. All right, come on. Stun him again. That didn't even knock him over. Oh god. We really need to uh, trip him so we can stop doing that. Get him with that. Nice. That was hard. Anyway, so after PvP, collect rewards from the dailies. Um, there's only like two of these I found that are working at the moment. There's this one. And then obviously you can buy level up stuff for your pets and stuff. Then there's this one which is a whole separate app that I have to close the game <clears throat> and then open this up for. Anyway, once I collect them, I continue on. 
vs Superboo for the daily to get the puzzle pieces for Android 18. Which I used to just skip this because it was like a difficult fight, but now that we got her up the top of the card and I got a decent amount of red stars and that, her health is pretty good. Her community board is also pretty good, so she's got good damage, good health. Um, once I get her to red 7 star, I'm also going to have better PvP stats as well for her, which is really interesting. <clears throat> this part's the only annoying part, you just gotta run. You probably notice I don't have my pet on, that's because the pet attacks him and he gets health back during that moment. So I just don't put it on for this. But yeah, once it comes to this part, this is where we just like lay into him with nice amounts of damage. Um, the girl helps heaps too to block that damage. And then of course Goku comes in to give us all our powers back so we can get a fresh set of stuff so that way we can just wipe him before he has the ability to gain health back again. Man these boos and their health regen. Alright so obviously we're in town so I start doing the uh, 10 people you gotta talk to as well as I grab this while I'm at it and then I check the store make sure that I've got the PvP tokens to buy these souls that I buy every week because I'm trying to get that upgraded. Um, let me check my storage to see if we've got what we need. We do, nice. I was thinking about buying a third storage so I'm probably going to do that by the end of the day. And then once we hand in that quest for talking to all 10 of them I go and get the dragon radars. I stay as um, Android 18 while doing the Dragon Radars for a reason. It's not that she's the best at PvE or anything, it's just as soon as I'm done with Dragon Radars, I go and do the mission where you fight Freezer's soldiers, which I'm about to do in a second, and that starts off with a green, so you have to start off with a red. It just makes sense. Right, so now we come here. I try to get as far as possible through this. Sometimes I finish it, sometimes I don't. Just depends, I guess. You probably notice sometimes when you're um, <clears throat> when you're fighting in this game, you try to just start facing the wrong way and throwing moves out in random directions. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but it happens to me sometimes, and that can get irritating and cause you not to be able to finish this. But yeah, Android 18 is quick work at that. And of course I try to finish on 16 here, so that way I've got a green for the next thing we're about to do after this. Man, this is cutting it close, so we're like 6 seconds, come on. Oh, we just didn't make it. Oh well, next time. Alright, so now I'm going to come do the snake way, but before I do that, I'm going to do this draw. Because I've got all these things, you know, <clears throat> doing all this stuff every week. Man, I never get anything good from this. <laughs> Still. Alright, uh, now I do the snake way. After the snake way, I come to the family area and talk to the 10 people here. Hold up a sec, I'm just going to uh, quickly do a summons. I'm going to do the Shenron shape. Nice, looks like we got a gold. Oh, sweet, it's Piccolo. Needed that. <clears throat> Alright, so let's just upgrade his card level real quick and then we'll put the remainder of it in his community board because that just makes sense to me to do that. A quick power level boost. Alright, so the next mission I come to is try to do all five of these using the farming, as well as farming these rocks. So let me just quickly get some of these rocks. Then once I hand that in, I check the store, buy the Goku usually. I'm trying to work on Piccolo lately, so buy that from that, quickly check the progress of this. Alright, so we went up power level, so I'm going to have to do an endless trial. This is just saving them, so I don't know how hard could this be, right? I don't think we've even got a special to check out. Wipe them out. Put the old thing in with some extra damage. 
Alright, next thing, former party. I do all four of these, even though I don't need this stuff anymore because I need the gold version, but I form the party here because it's just easier at the moment. And then I go ahead and do X amount of uh, missions with them. At the moment, I gotta do this for this week. As you know, you get these from it, these diamonds and stuff that we need to upgrade. Alright, now that that's out of the way, there's not much left to do for the day. So, I just keep an eye on the community board and do a few more missions, grab all this. And then when the rest of that uh, board comes in, I'll have 100% complete and get all the uh, capture coins. Uh, so, now I'm going to do some farming. I quickly check the store to see what I'm selling and what I'm going low on. Grab three of these, go and plant it, identify what you need for it because it's going to either have a glow for water or just words for a fertilizer. Pretty simple. Alright, so what do we need? Water, fertilizer, fertilizer. Alright, easy. So one water, two fertilizer. Alright, some of this community board stuff is done. Let me chuck that stuff we found into the store. I just sell it for the cheapest price because I mean, like, you technically got it for free anyway and you want it to sell well, so cheapest price seems to do the best. I will lucky enough to get a full summons from uh, Fighting Super Boo, so I'm just using it to get Android 18. We'll do her card level up. That seems like the best thing to do with it. Nice, Nash is getting closer to be the same card level as everyone else. And we've almost got enough to do her community board with her as well. I also managed to get her to 7 star, and like I said before, that means PvP uh, bonuses are unlocked now. Alright, well I'm going to keep working on the Guardian section now, and that's what we've got time for, thanks for watching.